M0FXB UVK6. Let's update the firmware using our browser. This is the latest firmware, version 0.19 by Exuma. So thank you very much. The nice thing is we can use our browser. So if we click here where it says Flash Browser, we get a new window. We're using a UV5R cable. We plug that into the side of our device. Now we do need to get our, our device into firmware mode. So turn it off completely and then hold down the PTT, turn it on and the top torch light will light up. You can see it just right there. Then the twin pin cable goes into the right hand side of your radio and plugs into your USB cable. The next thing you need to do is just make sure you've got the right, go right click device manager and you've selected the right COM port. So double click here, look, and it says here COM9. That's our COM port. And once we're connected, the firmware will load and we'll show you the flashing. You know, click flash firmware, then select COM9 and then connect and it will flash. Now remember, all of this loads up for you automatically. You may have to turn the radio on and off if you have a glitch, unplug the cable, but overall, you can see at the top there, the flashing is very fast, not even one minute, and we're going to be at a 100%, and you'll see that the radio is going to look fantastic. And you'll be able to access 27, 28 megahertz USB, which is very seems to be very popular, have the band scope, and do some uh, scanner searching as well, and have the, U, the AM fix, which is the important one as well for listening to airband. So you can see the radio there looking very nice. It even displays channel name and frequency at the same time when you're in memory mode. We'll just press a couple of functions, but we'll do a separate video demonstrating all these functions. But first of all, I'll unplug the USB cable. So if we just carry on here and push push some of the functions. We're going to start off just by pressing F5. We're in VFO mode at the moment. To go between VFO and memory, you just press F3. That's memory mode. That's back to VFO mode. And you can save memory names, change memory names using this very, very extensive menu, which goes from naught to 60, I believe. If I quickly press menu, Look at the very bottom where it says 1.60, and we're at menu number one. And as I scroll with the down arrow, you can see that it's at 15 now. It's, it keeps the, the number 60 there all the time for some reason, and different versions have different numbers. Uh, but anyway, anyway, so we'll just exit that for now with the exit button. And we'll go F5. Yeah. And you can see we'll just, we have a spectrum scope there. See the line above the spectrum scope? If you press the F, that will move down. Also, if you press the PTT, You go into this receive window and you have these small, the, 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 some itemized writing underneath. Quite hard for you to see, but when you press the M button now, you can cycle through these different things and make adjustments to get the sound as you want it. And you can exit that, pressing the exit button. Now the AM fix menu, Go to menu, one that you will want to do, actually to come out of this, just go exit again, is go menu and to get the backlight permanently on, go to menu number, menu number 36, See, it says backlight on, just press menu again. And then you can make changes once you've decided how long you want it on for, then just press menu, but we've selected on and then you just press menu and exit. Now the AM fix, which is popular because the AM sounds so much better, 
when, the, when this is selected. This is menu 56. Again, just select menu and then turn it on. Get that on or off, turn it on, menu, and then exit. And you'll find that AM will sound, it's not gonna be perfect. I mean, it's a 15 pound radio, but it's gonna sound a lot better. The, the functions now in this device, it, you do need to read the manual. I'll, I'll find the manual and put it in the description because they are extensive. We just start down from, we're up 56, we'll go, we'll just keep going, 57, and just quickly go through battery voltage, receive mode, dual or single. See that main and dual. Now you're only ever gonna hear one at a time, but it will, it will monitor both. Back to number one, which is squelch, frequency step. I don't know many of these, power, RX, that's your DCS tones, CTS tones, transmit and receive, wide and narrow band, scrambler, busy CL, demodulation AM, channel save, yeah, that's where you save channels, channel delete them, so this is where you can program and name channels using the radio. Looks like you have some lists there. Scan reverse, monitor, your, your pre-programmed buttons, F1 long, short press, long press. You can see there's a couple of programmable but F buttons. Key lock, not sure what the TX out is. Battery saver, mic gain, mic bar on. Hmm, that's good, isn't it? I don't know what that does. And then backlight, don't know that one. <laughs> AL Max, BLT, sounds like a sandwich. Your beeping, Roger Beep, most uh, don't want that, but some do. Is that a favorite call? DTMF settings, I know are in there. And so just enjoy exploring this radio. Many people. I mean, these radios are selling that hotcakes for good reason since the firmware upgrade. So enjoy the radio. Don't try and compare it to an Icom, a Yesu, which costs £500. It's £15, uh, sometimes less, sometimes more. I like the yellow screen, but get the one you prefer. I love the fact that if you go into memory mode, so if you go F3, it will actually, in, if you select it, will show the frequency and the name. And then if you want to go to A and B, you just go F2, and that's just moving the arrow up and down. And you're basically selecting A and B band. And then band-wise, I think number one, let's go back to VFO, which is F3. Yeah, that's VFO, and then we can just go through the different bands and that's just done one, so we might have to press the one first. That, sorry, the F first. F1. Yeah, and you start to scroll through the bands that this radio has. And it has many. It's going to be the best-selling radio of all time because of the firmware. It's like the X6100. It sold okay, but then once they had modified firmware, everyone wanted one. The screen's lovely as well, there's your 27 megs, which does work, you know. Everything works, how well it works, and of course, when you're transmitting, you need to check for spurious transmissions, because it's, it's, it's not gonna be great to stay within your, you know, your licensing conditions. But thanks so much for watching my YouTube channel. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on air, especially Hubnet, I'm always there. Bye for now, 7-3.